Hello, my name is Frank from Lightning Tech PC. Today, we're going to show you how to remove the LED screen from the Acer Aspire E1 series. Uh, this one here is the model Z5WE3. Uh, this one was made in January 25th, 2014. Um, there's nothing wrong with this screen, but I just want to show you in this tutorial how to uh, replace it. That way, if you do crack the screen, you already know how to replace repair it. Um, we try to do everything the easy way in all our videos. This is the second video we've ever uploaded on YouTube. Um, so just bear with me if I'm not too good at my videos. Um, I'm learning. Pretty soon I'll be a professional uh, video broadcaster, right? Okay, so the first things first. What you want to do is you want to take out the battery. To do this, there's a little clip located on the very bottom. You can use anything to pop it out. Just slide it once you slit it, you can just pull on the battery and it will just come right out. We don't want any power while we're messing with the ribbon cable. Because if it powers on and we cross anything over, it could be bad. I've never had that problem, but you never know. So move the battery away. Now, there's going to be two small plastic clips on the bottom where the screws go. There's going to be one there and one here, just underneath. Um, so before you open the screen, we're going to go ahead and take that off. The two tools you'll ever need is our safe pry removal tool. I like the metal ones better. The plastic ones break easily and get all over the place. You can get this anywhere on eBay, uh, for example, for under $10. Then we have a little micro Phillips screwdriver. That's all we need, just like the last laptop that we uploaded. So. We're going to use our safe pry removal tool, get the sharper end, and we're going to pull out this little plastic deal down here that's sitting right over the screw. Put it in a place we'll remember. We'll take the other one off as well. Very easy. Now we're going to take off the Phillips head screws on each end. With our safe pry removal tool, the flatter end, we're going to go ahead and loosen up this other end as well. Got it? Flip the laptop over. Now, when we lift this screen, there's a small seam between the back cover and the front bezel. We're going to go ahead and separate this. We can start from the top and work ourselves to each side towards the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. There's no more screws, by the way, on this puzzle, so. so I'm going to go ahead and start prying away. Okay, and I've got one side out. Let's go ahead and do the other. Okay. Now that we've got this loosened up, we can lower the screen down a little bit and pop out the middle area, which is right here, with our fingers. Very careful. There it is. Got that popped out. Now we've got just enough room to work with. You can't pull this out. Um, in order to take this bezel off, you can either really force it to come out, which I don't recommend because you can break it down here over this hinge. So what, what I recommend is to leave it on. And the reason why is you can get around this piece to replace the screen. We're saving so much time. Rather than taking off this whole palm rest and the keyboard and all the screws off the bottom, which I think is ridiculous, we're just going to go ahead and just move this out of our way a little bit. And there's going to be a little screw down here. It's a black screw. Let me see if I can find something to point that to you. There we go. If I can just get this a little closer to the camera. It's right there. A little black screw on each end of this screen. You're just going to take that one off. Don't take the ones off the hinges, these three here. These silver ones. You're just wasting time. So we're going to take that off on each end on the bottom. And then on the very top, 
we're going to take each black screw off as well. One here, and then one on the top on the other side. Same screw. So, let me go ahead and do that. As you can see, I can easily reach in here just by simply moving this bezel out of my way. And I can take this screw right out. There's that one. I'm going to do the other one as well. Trying not to drop the screw. If I drop it, I can easily pull it out with a magnet or something. But okay, take the top screws out now. Get a little more view there. Very careful not to hit your screen, um, especially if you're pulling out a good screen for some reason. Maybe you're replacing it camera or something. Okay, so we got those screws out. Now we just simply just pop the screen forward. Very simple. Go ahead and loosen that up. Now one thing I did forget to mention before I yank on this is the webcam. Uh, the webcam is still plugged in. There's a little pl uh, plug that just slides towards the left from the webcam. We're going to go ahead and take that off. Real easy. Now it's unplugged, I can pull the screen back all the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and loosen up the webcam cable from the top, work ourselves down it's, as it's kind of 3M'd on there. We've got the webcam off, the cable, I mean. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape off a little bit off this ribbon cable and then pop it downward, real simple. Be very careful as it's taped on there, so sometimes it doesn't come out easily. You can use your safe pry removal tool, the sharp tip, to unplug the cable on each end. You just don't want to pull on the cable hard because you can rip it from the connector. So, I'll go ahead and slide each end down, and there it is. I've got the ribbon cable unplugged, and the screen is out. Now we can go ahead and put in our new screen. Pretty much easy. You just reverse this procedure and you're done. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back in. That way you can see exactly how it's done. We'll go ahead and put this screen here. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with this screen. I just wanted to show you how to do this. We're going to plug in the ribbon cable. You want to slide it up as you fit it in the grooves. You'll see it. Real simple. This is exactly how it looks. Okay, tape is back on there. Now the cable for the camera needs to come back up. And you can just go straight up with it. We're going to pop it backwards a little. We're going to get this little connector and plug it right back in to the webcam. Okay, pop the screen right back. Screen's back in place. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in. This is very easy. This is probably one of the easiest screens to replace. Mind you, I've only done this twice on this model. Being it just came out nine months ago. Surprisingly, there's not many coming in with broken screens yet. It's usually the older laptops. People are getting good deals on them and trading them in finding my goodwill or something. Okay, now finally the top screws. Now, I don't know if all of them are the same as far as color coded goes, but the screws that are holding the screen are black. The screen's going to sit 
on top of the side frame as far as screwing in. So on the top the side frame mounts to the back cover and then the screen goes right over it. You see what I'm talking about here. There's a side frame that holds the side of the screen and it goes right behind where the screen screws on top. It's real simple. Okay, I've got the screws on already. I didn't mess up the Wi-Fi cables. I always make sure the Wi-Fi cables are in the grooves where they belong on both sides. We also have a black one over here on this side. Looks like it popped out a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and put that back where it belongs. Okay. Now, we're going to snap the bezel right back in. Now when you clip them, you want to clip them from the outer edges. You don't want to press on the screen, on the inner edge. You're going to risk cracking it, and you're going to have to order another one. So, there go. And we'll just snap everything right back together. Okay, I'm going to close it now. Flip it over. Snap this back in place, that side. Put the two screws in. Okay. Put the plastic little teeny plastic round covers back. Make it look good. Make it look nice and professional, right? Okay, it's all back in place. Pop the battery in. All set. Perfectly working laptop. Brand new screen installed. And you're ready to go. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.